The title of this video is not clickbait and not exaggeration either. Twitch is by design by far the most difficult platform to grow on. And it's that way for a reason. So if you've been stuck in the infinite loop of streaming for such a small amount of people you can count them on one hand, you should know this. It's not entirely your fault. You see, I've spent my last five years creating content on social media channels like this one, building audiences from scratch and learning to navigate and understand platform algorithms. And these algorithms are always changing, but the core is, is still the same. The more popular your content is, the more likely the platform is to advertise your channel. So let's talk for a second about what algorithms are, how they work, and why Twitch's is so bad. Because the purpose of this video isn't to convince you to give up. The purpose of this video is to help you understand how Twitch works so that you can learn how to manipulate the numbers in your favor. So in this video, I'm gonna help you understand the essentials of what you need to know. How platform algorithms work. What about them makes Twitch an extremely difficult platform to grow on, how you should use this knowledge to grow on Twitch, and I'm going to give my suggestions on what I would change if I worked at Twitch because frankly, they need to change some things, and soon. My name is Harris Heller, I am your stream doctor, and today we're going to talk about the rotten underbelly of Twitch and how you can get around it. If the word algorithm is completely foreign to you, essentially what we're talking about here is an equation containing certain metrics of a social media platform to help that platform understand which content is more entertaining than others. For example, if you and I both post a YouTube video that's about 10 minutes long, and your viewers watch for eight minutes on average while my viewers leave after 30 seconds, YouTube is gonna assume that your video is much more entertaining than mine, and it's gonna place it higher in the suggested feed. That algorithm also takes into consideration things like how many likes and comments there are per views, and even contextual things like uh, how relevant the title is to the content of the video. All platforms use algorithms, even mobile ones. Uh, Instagram uses algorithms to figure out which pictures of the accounts you follow should go higher in your feed, or even the stories at the top of your feed, which appear farther to the left on the feed so you can watch first. That one's actually pretty simple. Uh, a story that has a swipe up feature to an Instagram TV video will appear first, then after that is an Instagram TV video itself, followed by that as a regular story. The reason these algorithms exist is not because they're trying to squish down the little guy and, and promote the big guy. It's, it's for business. These platforms are entertainment companies. The more time people spend on their platform, or the more time you spend watching YouTube videos, the more money they make. Therefore, content that is proven to be more entertaining, those platforms are going to push in front of you first. Because the moment you start watching boring video after boring video is the moment you leave the platform. And this leads us to the massive problem of discoverability on Twitch. Because while understanding these algorithms help us understand what it takes to grow on a social media platform, it also gives us some foresight into why it is so hard to catch up and get ahead when you're starting a new channel. And these problems are magnified on Twitch for very specific reasons. There are two main reasons why it's extremely hard to grow on Twitch. And that's aside from all the reasons that Twitch and YouTube and Instagram share. It is always gonna be hard for the little guy to get seen before the big guy, but Twitch in particular has two more problems. And the main one is that Twitch just isn't a searchable or discoverable or browsable platform. If you're on YouTube and you're just browsing the home feed, yeah, you're gonna find some really popular videos first, but if you type in the search bar how to make a, a Twitch alert similar to Ninja's, well, my video is gonna pop up. It doesn't matter that my channel has only 9,000 subscribers. I am the only one that has made that video. On YouTube, you can find a niche that hasn't been filled yet and you can create searchable, high quality content and begin to snowball and grow on the platform even as a brand new creator. I've made enough videos now that there are plenty of videos out there relating back to mine and my quality is high content enough that a lot of you guys are liking it and commenting it that if you're watching a video related to mine, Mine will probably show up in your suggested feed. Which, on a completely unrelated note, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and um, comment below if I've completely lost you, if this makes sense so far. Cool? Awesome. Twitch doesn't really have searchable content. They tried to add hashtags, but they're, nobody's really using them, and they're already 
pre-generated so you can't get really unique and searchable with it. There's no likes and dislikes, there's no comment section. The only way for Twitch to really rate high quality content and low quality content is the number of viewers. And if you have a low number of viewers, that just kind of means you're SOL. Every other platform has a solid browsable feature. There's a discover tab on Instagram that shows you content similar to the stuff that you like and follow before and you can browse hundreds of channels in a matter of 30 seconds. Twitter has a great way to share. Twitter has a retweet, making it possible for your tweets to go completely viral. This is originally how I got my start on Vine. My wife and I posted a video when we had 2,000 followers and it ended up going completely viral and got over a hundred million views because over a million people revined it, sharing it with their followers. There's nothing like that on Twitch. It doesn't exist. Which leaves the other great way to grow on social media platforms, uh, collaborating which is problem number two on Twitch. Going back to Vine because it's my best example I can pull from. After that Vine, we were the fastest growing Vine channel on the platform for about a month straight. We had a million followers in about a month and a half. And we were able to reach out to just about anybody. In fact, everybody on the platform was collaborating as much as they possibly can. They understood that it was a social platform. And the best thing that they could do was to get in front of as many eyeballs as possible. On Twitch, unfortunately, you have a completely different style of content creator. We are gamers. And by nature, we're very introverted people and kind of antisocial. I don't know if you've ever tried collaborating on Twitch, even with people of the same amount or fewer viewers than you, it can be a struggle. So if you can't grow by streaming and you can't grow by collaborating, what do you do? And that's the question I'm here to answer today. And this answer is only for the truly dedicated people. If you want to make this a career, it's not something that's just going to happen anymore. Sure, maybe if you started streaming seven years ago in the beginning and you've been grinding it ever since it was a small platform, sure, you can do that. But in this day and age, it doesn't work that way. If you want to make this a career, you need to learn some new skills. You are going to have to make the jump to some of these more discoverable platforms. Find a niche there, start making content that is discoverable. And when you've created a platform there, bring them to your Twitch channel. That is exactly why I started making these videos in the first place. I was grinding on Twitch five days a week for five hours a day and five months into it, I did a five hour stream without a single viewer. And my stream is a very professional, very high quality stream. It was the fact that Twitch is not helping me in any way. And I decided to scale it back to three days a week and spend the extra time that I had making YouTube videos on something that I was good at. And I've been a content creator full time for five years. So I decided to make a YouTube channel about creating content on Twitch. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like this is gonna change anytime soon, so my opinion is probably gonna stand for a while. However, if it were up to me, if I worked at Twitch, I would be banging on the CEO's door saying, we have a problem here. The reason YouTube stands so strong is because there is a channel for everybody. If you like gaming, there are a thousand amazing, successful gaming channels. If you like music, there are a thousand incredible, successful music channels. If you like a person cooking vegan meals who is tempted to add eggs and meat into every single meal, there's legitimately a channel for that. There is entertainment for everything. And unless Twitch starts to provide a platform for its smaller channels that have potential, it's gonna remain a niche platform forever. If it were up to me, I would change two things on Twitch. The first thing I would do is what Mixer's doing. Mixer had a great idea. They have these channels called Hype Zones. For example, in Battle Royales, like say uh, Fortnite, there's a Fortnite Hype Zone, where there's a person curating it, looking for channels where the player is in the top 10, the very end of the game, and watches that person, and as soon as that person dies or wins, they switch to another channel that is in the top 10. It makes for incredibly entertaining content. And when I streamed on Mixer for a couple months just to experiment, I got in the hype zone probably at least once a day. And every time I got a hype zone, I got from 50 to 100 new followers, just like that. Because my stream looked so good and I was engaging and I spoke to the 150 new people that jumped into my stream and I got to know them and they came back. I would create a hype zone for all the top games on Twitch. The next thing I would do is I would create another channel called Underrated. And this would also be curated by an individual, not by an algorithm. 
someone who's looking at smaller channels and looking for engaging streamers. Streamers that have put time into the design of the channel and the alerts and have created a culture and rituals that create an experience for the viewer. And I would feature one of these streamers for a half hour, jumping from streamer to streamer every 30 minutes throughout the day. Because I know that Twitch has its homepage with new channels, but to the left of that homepage, is the list of channels that you follow. And if you're anything like me, that is the first place you look. Those recommended channels are a last resort. I've personally never found a single channel on a recommended channel page. But if you ask me, these changes aren't gonna happen anytime soon. So now that you understand how algorithms work and what is wrong with Twitch, go out and start a YouTube channel. Learn to edit videos. Find something you're good at. It doesn't even have to be gaming. Just get new eyeballs on you that otherwise would have never found you and bring them over to your Twitch channel. And speaking of which, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you found this video engaging and entertaining, please jump into my streams. Link to my stream is gonna be down below. And if you found this helpful at all, please hit the like button down below and leave a comment if there's something you're confused about or if you learned something new. Lastly, if you have any questions about streaming that you just haven't been able to find an answer to, feel free to jump in the Alpha Gaming Discord server. We have people in there as well as myself to help answer your questions as well as a whole section where you can find streamers looking for collaborations. Jump on in the Discord, find some stream buddies, view each other's channel, and get to affiliate status fast. But I do hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in my Twitch chat soon. And as always, happy streaming. Don't stop because I'm having a good time I don't wanna stop at all I'm never doing that again Don't even bother asking <laughs>